But basically, they wanted us to cancel and close and suspend all participation in all dance studios, classes, meetings, um, and identify with your community. And I know mm-hmm. that here in Far Rockaway, we had a protest going yep. on. Yep, I saw that. Um, and I drove past it going and coming in. Um, it looked very peaceful. There was a lot of police out. Um, but it looked like the people were allowed to protest the way they wanted to protest, um, which is always good to see. Very, um, very refreshing. What the people were screaming out was not the kindest of words at all. I mean, it shouldn't be. And, 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 it, and it wouldn't be. So, um, you know, you got to give these police on this side credit for not acting out. Yeah, I, I think, I, listen, man, they're just doing their job. Don't give police credit for doing their fucking job. They're just doing their job. That's what you're supposed to do. Right, you're no, supposed 100%. to maintain order. You're supposed to create a sense of community. You're supposed to be professional. So what the fuck? Like, you don't give a good dad credit for being a good dad. Nigga, that's your kid. You're a good dad? <laughs> do your job. So if, if that's what they're doing, that's dope. As far as the Blackout Tuesday thing, um, I kind of use this day, and you follow me on social media and a bunch of other people do as well, uh, to really, like, highlight some of the shit that I turn to in these times. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I turn right. to the Malcolm X talks, the, Dark, the Dr. King talks, the Fred Hampton talks. Um, a, lot of, a lot of the music that I listen to also is very charged and revolutionary tone. Uh, and even like most recently, the Jay Electronica album uh, that which featured Jay Z so heavily, a lot of the tracks on there are very like revolutionary toned and uh, like provide a good backdrop to what's going on right now um, in this world. So uh, I'm I'm with it. Like, and I, I saw a lot of the people that I follow also on social media do the same thing. They were posting like reminders of what of what really is happening in this country. And then I also had to unfollow a couple of motherfuckers because. They were posting other shit. <laughs> they were posting <laughs> all lives matter. And I am not, I I not I am not the all lives matter nigga. Right. Fuck that. Right, yeah, no chance. No, it's it's good during these times when um your friends who are not black, who are who show their love, their support, and that their stance and they're standing with you. Like you said, this is a time to pick a side. Mm-hmm. Um so it's really important to know that the people in your circle and how they feel about this issue. And um, you know, that you guys are just aware of where you guys, where everybody stands on this, you know? And, yeah, it's and, very important. And, and, it, and it does feel good to have the support of those in our um, in our circles. Absolutely. It's something that is, that cannot be miscommunicated. Like, it needs to be communicated as clearly as possible. People really, they get on people who are holiday people, you know what I'm saying? Like, people yeah. who, hey, yeah. people get together for holidays. But I like holidays and, and Christmas and Thanksgiving. And even if you don't see your family so often, it's good to have those reminders that, hey, it's Christmas. I need to see this person. Hey, it's Thanksgiving. I need to see that person. And even if, you know, people want to vilify like a certain movement or a certain social media initiative, as as long as for that day or for those few hours, it's really sparking your mind to do something or protest or make a statement about how you feel. I feel like it's value added. And I feel like in the certain and I feel like the way that we're moving right now it's there are a lot of posts and a lot of things that sparked a lot of emotions in people and they're going to react to it and they're going to put positive action behind it so i'm i'm with it you yeah, know i'm I, not with it being the only thing that happens but i'm with it being a part of what happens it's a start i think it's a start i think it's a start um where people it's on people's radar of mm-hmm. where we are in the climate and um and now people are Pay attention to something that they may not have like given attention to before, and it's a shame that they haven't. <clears throat> and it's a shame that they haven't, but we can't afford not to because we go outside and we look how we look. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so. so this is a, this is an everyday thing for us, every single day. Absolutely. I, I just I just feel like if if you're an all lives matter type of person, like I, I can already tell like where your like allegiances lie. Like I can already tell you don't understand it. And I'm at a point today where I'm tired of explaining that shit to white people. Right. It's. My thing is, you don't have to understand it, but you can respect it, and you could try, or you could at least try or attempt to try. Mm-hmm. I feel like people don't even just a- attempt to try. No, people understand it. Hey, listen, like we're in the age of information. If there's some shit you don't understand, you Google it. <laughs> no, and if you don't, and if you don't, then that's on you. I think I think they're aware. I just I don't think they understand what it is. Like you said, to walk outside. No, they, they and get pressed. No way. They no, they they understand what it is. They don't have the empathy or the compassion to actually do anything to to choose their privilege to change it. And that's all that that is. It's it's a willful ignorance. It's a willful inaction. That's exactly what it is. Like they see the news. They see they have social media. 
they've we're in the most diverse times in the history of this world. They they see black people, they they hear their struggle, but it's still silence, it's still inaction, it's still on the sidelines. You know what I'm saying? Like it, it's it's I, I'm not giving them the credit of not understanding. <laughs> I'm giving I'm I'm saying, hey, like I know you understand this. I know you understand this is fucked up. I know you understand that if if you were George Floyd's mom and had to watch four people sit on top of him until he died, I know how you feel about that. So I know you know how I feel about that. But you're still, but you're still walking around with this will, this will for ignorance, this air of because I'm not wearing a clan hood or burning crosses on churches' front lawns that I am an ally. And and you're not. If you have a willful ignorance and you're running around spitting out all lives matter, you're not an ally. Yeah. 